You saw the title of this video. It's going to be a controversial topic. Do you need a degree to get into web development? Let's go ahead and take a look. Is there such a thing as getting in without a degree? Yes, there definitely is, and I'm here to tell you all about it. I myself have a degree in economics, something I don't use ever. <sighs> Woe is me. But I studied and I studied and I studied to get into web development. There are a ton of great options online because, heck, it's web development. Of course there's gonna be great content online uh, that you can do. From tech degrees to self-education courses, I know a lot of people other than myself that have gotten into web development, and they're right here on YouTube. One is Dylan Israel. Uh, he got into web development from Free Code Camp. He dropped out of school uh, getting a CS degree or a computer science degree, and now he works as a full stack developer. I'm actually in my second job in uh, web development, web production, that area, and it's been all through online. Now, with that said, is it easy? Heck no. Is it going to be easier with a computer science degree? Probably, but not necessarily. I would say if you can, especially if you're not paying for it yourself, get a computer science degree. Not a web development degree, not a web design degree, get a computer science degree if you can. That's going to give you a foundation and build upon your skills uh, while you're going to school or outside of school. That's going to be the easiest. A computer science degree doesn't expire and it's there and it's uh, sealed, you know, approval from a accredited university. But that's not going to be enough most of the time to get you into these positions. Maybe if you get recruited from a college, maybe, and all you need is your computer science degree. But in most cases, you're going to have to go above and beyond, uh, regardless of whether you went to school or not, and learn a ton on your own. So if you don't have a degree, uh, you're gonna have to work a lot harder. You're gonna have to have something out there like a personal brand, like what I have. Uh, maybe do some vlogging or blogging uh, LinkedIn articles are great. So you have a track record of everything that you've done. So a recruiter can go through, a hiring manager can go through and see that you've been doing this for a while and you really have been dedicated and you know your stuff. On top of that, of course, you have to have working projects. Now, if you do all that, are you gonna get a job right away? Mm, maybe, maybe not, probably not. And it really depends on your area. If you are in a place that uh, web development is just, it's uh, in demand, of course you're gonna find a job faster, maybe six months. I've talked to people on this channel that have gotten a web development job in six months. Me, myself, I had to wait a whole year. But then again, I was in a place where there was zero web development jobs. I only had like one of the only two jobs in the area. So I really had to work on my projects, have some tangible stuff. Uh, how do you do that uh, if there aren't any jobs? Uh, well, the best thing is to get a, a real business to let you do their site, even if it's for free. And you can do that by going up to small businesses. They always have work and offer something. But even before that, if, if you're looking to do that, I would recommend you have a portfolio, have some projects to show to them. And if you can get paid, great. If not, think of it as a investment into your education. That's how I look at it. Yes, it might be for free, but if you look at it from an education standpoint, it's invaluable, right? That's free education. Uh, it's gonna be put into use in the real world and then you can go ahead and start applying. When you apply for these jobs, you're going to find out where you're lacking. And if you're lacking somewhere, you're gonna have to go ahead and skill up. Take some time off of looking for jobs, skill up, skill up, skill up. But uh, how do you do that? There are a ton of online resources that we've talked about uh, on this channel a lot. Pluralsight, Team Treehouse, Udemy. There's a Colt Stills course. No, I'm not sponsored by Colt Steel or Team Treehouse despite what the shirt may, may say. That wasn't intentional, I just had it here. But uh, definitely, definitely you can get into web development. Is it going to be hard? You bet. I spent hours upon hours, thousands of hours, literally, to get to the point where I am now. It became a habit. It wasn't just a, a job, it's a career. It's something that I take pride in. It's something that I want to become a professional in, a craftsman. So I spend a ton of time, even now that I've made it, improving my craft. And if you don't wanna do that, you're not going to be able to get these nicer jobs. Uh, just letting you know, going into this, uh, if you really wanna become one of the best web developers, this is what it takes. However, if you are young or you're not hurting to be in the uh, space right away, definitely you can do a few hours here and there uh, every day, like a couple hours, if you wanna do it for a hobby and then maybe decide you're ready to go all in. That is totally okay. 
there's no rush for that, especially if you already have a good paying job or you're in school or you're you know, a high school student or a junior high student. Yeah, no pressure to learn it all right away. It only means that you're gonna be that much more prepared if you make the jump. Whew. Yeah, that was a lot of information today. I uh, hope this answered your questions that you were looking for. If it didn't, leave me a comment in the comment section below. I'd be more than happy to talk with you. If you like this stuff, hey, do me a favor and give me some of these likes. And if you like web development, self-education, all that stuff, this is the place to go. Feel free to subscribe and hit the bell notification to uh, know every time I put out a video. That's it for today. I'll talk to you later.